Hello, my lovely crochet fans. Okay, so today we're going to be doing Ellie the Elephant. Now, for this project, I'm going to be using some old recordings from a, another video that I had done a little while ago to show you how to make Ellie the Elephant. Okay, so for this project, we will be using a C hook. We will be using ZZ, Twist, White and Gray. The other yarns come from the Lemonade Shop. Our first one, which is our gray and rainbow color one, is called Stormy Day. The next one, which is a very multicolored one, is called A Gay Raccoon Cannot Have Babies. I will be using all of these yarns in our project today. And of course, you will be needing some stuffing to stuff our Ellie doll with. To go ahead and we're gonna get started. We're gonna start with our cotton white. I'm going to go ahead and make my slip stitch and I'm going to chain two here. So one and two. And I'm going to put six single crochets into the second chain. So one, two, three. Four, five, and six. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put two single crochet in each stitch. Um, if you want, you can use a stitch marker because we're not joining. Okay. So one and two this is three And four, five, and six, this is seven and eight. And then we have nine and ten. And then for our last one, right here, this is eleven and twelve. And I'm just going to pull on that. Try to close it up. There we go. Perfect. Now for round three, we're going to go ahead and do one single crochet in the next stitch and then two single crochets in the stitch after that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab me some scrap yarn just so I know where I'm at here. Okay, there we go. So again, that's one single crochet in the first stitch and then two in the next. Okay, so now that we have finished round three, just let me pull up my stitch marker here. Uh-oh. All right, there we go. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and do round uh, four. So for round four, we're gonna single crochet in the next six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now we're going to do three decrease. So we're just gonna decrease um, three stitches. So, ooh. One, and two, and then this is the last one. That's three. And now we're going to single crochet in the next six. So one, Two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. So basically what you did was you just took away um, three stitches. Okay. So let me go ahead and pull up my stitch marker here. Okay, and now that we're done with round four, let's go on to round five. Now, for round five, we're going to single crochet in the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five, okay? And then we're going to decrease. So we're gonna do one single crochet decrease. Then we're going to single crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to do another decrease. Another single crochet decrease. And now we're going to single crochet in the next five. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Bring up my stitch marker. There we go. Now we're done with round five. Now we're gonna move on to round six. And round six, we are going to single crochet in the next five. So one, two, three, four, and five and then we're going to decrease three stitches together so that's just do like this one that's one stitch and then here's a second stitch and then here's a third stitch and we're just going to go through all of them just like that now we're going to single crochet in the next five so one, two, and this is three, four, and this one is five. 
Now let me just pull up my ooh, pull up my stitch marker if I can get it. All right, there we go. There we go. Okay. Now that we're done, now what you want to do is you want to stuff this because this is our small tiny little foot. So I'm just going to take, this is probably too much. I'm going to take just a tiny bit of my stuffing. And I'm going to go ahead. There we go. Now, ta-da. And we have a little, just a little tiny foot. Okay. So now for um, round seven. So for round um, seven, so what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet in the next five stitches. So one, two, uh -oh. two, three, four, and this is five. And we're gonna put two single crochet in the next stitch. And we're gonna single crochet in the next four stitches. And then two single crochet in the last stitch. So one and two. Okay. And now for round eight, we're gonna single crochet in the next four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. And then we're going to put two single crochets in the next stitch. So one and two. And then we're going to single crochet in the next four. One. And now we're going to put two single crochet in the next stitch. So one and uh -oh, two. And then we're going to single crochet in the last three. So one two and three okay i'm just gonna pull up my stitch marker okay and doesn't that look cute it is just so tiny and there's our little foot that's cute okay so now for rounds um, nine to 26, it is just simply one single crochet all the way around. But, okay, so this is the yarn we're going to be using, and this is called the um, Gay Raccoon Can't Have a Baby. So this yarn is what we're going to be using as kind of like our pants for um, our Ellie Dow. Now, I am at the end here of my little shoe, my white shoe. And before I finish this last single crochet with my stitch marker, I'm going to use my new yarn that I am attaching to make that. And now that that is done, I'm going to take my scissors. I'm going to go ahead and cut off my white. And I'm going to tug on my white just to tighten it up so it's not loose and then I'm just gonna go ahead and continue 
to single crochet all the way around. Okay, so I have went ahead and I have finished my two legs here and now what we're going to do is we're going to join them so we can get started on the body. So pretty much what we're going to do is you're going to go here, you're going to stop right here somewhere in the middle because you want them to be together just like this and what you're going to do is you're going to chain two so one and two and then you're going to line them up and you're gonna go ahead and try to single crochet right across from the one you just did so go ahead grab that pull it in and single crochet now now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to work one round of single crochet all the way around. So I'm going to go from here, you're going to come, you're going to go here, you're going to go in these chains, just going to continue to keep going all the way around. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to round 28. Round 28, we're going to put two single crochets in the first stitch. So that's one. And then here is our second stitch. And now we're going to put one single crochet in the next 30 stitches. At the end of this round, you should have 32 stitches. Before we do round 29, I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of stuffing and I have um, just a little stick here. Um, I'm going to just go ahead. If you don't have one of these little sticks, you can always just use um, the end of a pencil to just push it down in it. You don't want to put too much, just a little. You put a little bit as you go because um, if you put too much, then the uh, stuffing will kind of get stuck in the stitches as you go. You'll catch it with your hook. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, there we go. Just a little bit in there. And now we're gonna go ahead and do round 29. And round 29 is a uh, one single crochet in the next seven stitches and then two stitches in the next um, stitch two single crochets in the next stitch so now that we have finished round 29 we're going to do round 30 and 31, and that is just simply one single crochet all the way around. Okay, so now we've finished rounds 30 and 31. Now we're going to go ahead and do 32 and 32 is one single crochet in the next eight and then two single crochet after that. Okay, so 
now that we finished round 32, we're gonna do round 33. And round 33 is one single crochet in the next nine stitches, and then two single crochet after that. finished round 33 we're gonna do round 34 through 38 which is simply one single crochet in each stitch okay so now that we have finished rounds 34 through 38 we're gonna do round 39 and round 39 we're going to single crochet in the next nine stitches and then we're going to do a decrease and we're going to repeat that all the way to the end and now that we're done with round 39 we're going to go ahead and do round 40 and 41 which is one single crochet in each stitch So now that we've finished rounds 40 to 41, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do round 42. Round 42 is your single crochet in the next eight stitches, and then you do a decrease, and you're going to repeat that all the way to the end. And now that we have finished round 42, we're going to go ahead and do round 43 to 44, which is simply one single crochet in each stitch. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to move on to round 45 and round 45 is one single crochet in the next seven stitches and then one single crochet decrease and you repeat to the end. Okay, so now that we've finished round 45, we're going to move on to round 46 and 47, which is simply one single crochet in each stitch. Okay, so now that we've finished round 46 to 47, let's go ahead and do round 48. Round 48 is one single crochet in the next six stitches and then a decrease and you're going to repeat that all the way to the end all right so now that we've finished round 48 we're going to do rounds 49 and 50 and rounds 49 and 50 are one single crochet in each stitch. Okay, so now that we've finished round 49 and 50, we're going to go ahead and do 51. And 51 is you're going to single crochet in the next five stitches. And then you're going to do a decrease and then you're going to repeat that all the way to the end.
So now that we finished round 51, we're gonna do round 52 and 53, which is one single crochet in each stitch. Okay, so now that we've finished round 52 and 53, we're gonna do round 54. Round 54 is your single crochet in the next four stitches, and then you decrease, and you're gonna repeat that all the way around. And now that we're done with round 54, we're gonna go ahead and do round 55 to 58. And it is simply one single crochet in each stitch. And afterwards, what you're going to do is you're going to stuff the body. Okay, so now that we are done with our body, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move on to the head. Now, to make the head, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to start by chaining two. So one and two. And now we're gonna put five single crochets in this second chain. So that's one. Here's two. Here's three, and this is four, and this is five. Okay, and so for round two, we're going to do two single crochets in our next stitch, which is right here. So that's one and two in the same stitch and then one single crochet in the next four stitches so one this is two and here's three uh oh here we go wait a minute now three there we go, that's three. And then this is four, right here. There we go. Okay, and now for round th three, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put one single crochet in the next stitch. So here's one single crochet here, and then two single crochet in the next stitch. So here's one and two and then one single crochet in the next four stitches. So one, uh -oh. okay this is two, let's make sure we single crochet over our tail. So that's two and then this is three and this last one is four. Now before I move on to round four I'm just going to pull up my yarn a little bit and I'm going to try and flip this in the other direction because right now it is inside out and I want to turn it the right way. There we go. That's perfect, okay. So now moving on to round four, we're gonna put one single crochet in the next stitch, and then two single crochets in the next two stitches. So that's one and two. And then the next one, next stitch is two single crochet in there, and 
two and now we're going to put one single crochet in the next two stitches so one and two and now we're going to do one single crochet decrease there we go and there now we're going to move on to round five round five we're going to put one single crochet in the next two stitches so one and two and then we're going to put two single crochets I'm going to put two single crochets in the next stitch. So one, uh -uh. one, and two. And now we're going to put one single crochet in the next five stitches. So that's one, that's two, this is three, four, and five. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to round six. And round six, we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches. So one, this is two, and this is three. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put two single crochets in the next two stitches. So this is one and two. Then another two single crochets in the next stitch. So one and two. And then we're going to put one single crochet in the next three stitches. So that's one. This is two and this is three and then we're going to do one single crochet decrease and there's our decrease there we go and now we're moving on to round seven round seven we are doing one single crochet in the next three stitches so one two and then three and now we're going to put two single crochets in the next stitch. So one and two. And then one single crochet in the next six stitches. So one, two, three, and this is four, this is five, and then this is six. And now we'll go ahead and move on to round eight. Round eight, we're going to put one single crochet in the next four stitches. So one, uh oh, one. This is two, three, and four. And now we're going to put two single crochet in the next two stitches. So one single crochet and two single crochet in the same stitch. Then one single crochet and two single crochet in the same stitch. Now we're going to single crochet in the next four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. And we're going to do one single crochet decrease. Okay, and now we're going to move on to round nine. Round nine, we're going to single crochet in the next four stitches. So one, two, this is three, and a four. And we're going to put two single crochets in the next stitch. So one and two. And now it's one single crochet in the next seven stitches. So one, two, three. 
this is four, five, six, and seven. And now let's go ahead and move on to round 10. Round 10, we're gonna single crochet in the next five stitches. So one, two, three, and this is four, and five. Now we're gonna put two single crochet in the next two stitches. So one and two in this next stitch, then one single crochet and two single crochet in a stitch after that. Uh oh, looks like I lost some of my yarn. Okay, there we go. And now we're going to go and put one single crochet in the next five stitches. So one, two, three, and four. And then one more makes five. And then it's one single crochet decrease. Get a decrease in there. There we go. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to round 11. Round 11, we're going to single crochet in the next five stitches. So one, two, three, and then this is four and five. And then two single crochets in the next stitch. So one and two. And now it's one single crochet in the next eight stitches. So that's one, two, three, and this is four, that's five, six, seven, and then eight. Okay, now we're going to move on to round 12. On round 12, we're going to single crochet in the next six stitches. So one, two, this is three, four, five, and six. And now it's two single crochet in the next two stitches. So one and two single crochets. And then in the next stitch is one and two single crochets. And then it's one single crochet in the next six stitches. So one, two, three, this is four, five, and six. And then we need to do one single crochet decrease. And move on to round 13. Round 13, we're going to put one single crochet in the next six stitches. So one, two, this is three, four, five, and six. And then we're going to put two single crochet in the next two stitches. So one and two single crochets in the first stitch, then one and two single crochet in the second stitch. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put one single crochet in the next nine stitches. So one, two, three, four, and this is five, six, seven, eight, and this last one is nine. 
Okay, so now we're going to move on to round 13. Round 13, we're going to put one single crochet in the next seven stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we're going to put two single crochets in the next two stitches. So that's one and two, and then one and two. Okay, and now we're going to put one single crochet in the next seven stitches. So one, two, three, and this is four. Five, six, and seven. And now we're going to do one single crochet decrease. Okay. And now we're going to go on and we're going to move to round 15. Round 15, we're going to put one single crochet in the next seven stitches. So one, two, and this is three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we're going to put two single crochets in the next stitch. So one and two. And then ten single crochet. We're going to put one single crochet in the next 10 stitches. So one, two, three, four, and this is five, six, and seven. And then eight, nine, and 10. Okay, and now we're going to move on to round 16. And round 16 is one single crochet in the next eight stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And now we're going to put two single crochets in the next two stitches. So one, and this is two in the first stitch, and then two single crochets in the next stitch. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put one single crochet in the next eight stitches. So one, two, three, four, this is five, six, seven, and eight. And now we're going to do one single crochet decrease. Okay. And now we're going to move on to round 17. Round 17 is one single crochet in the next eight stitches. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. Now we're going to put two single crochet in the next stitch. One and two. And now it's one single crochet in the next eleven stitches. So one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, and this is eight, nine, and then we have ten and eleven. Okay? And so this is what you should have so far. And you can see here's the trunk, and it's going up, and this is going to be the face. But we have to keep going. Okay, so now we're going to move on to round 18. In round 18, we're going to single crochet in the next nine stitches. So one, two, this is three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now we're going to put two single crochets in the next two stitches. So one and two for the first stitch, and then one and two for the second stitch and then we're going to single crochet in the next nine stitches so one two three four five six seven eight and nine and now we're going to do one single crochet decrease and now we're going to move on to round 19 in round 19 we're going to do one single crochet in the next nine stitches so one two three, four, five, uh-uh, hold on, okay, and this is five, six, this is seven, and this is eight, and this is nine. Okay, and now for round 19, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put two single crochets in the next stitch. And now we're gonna put one single crochet in the next nine stitches. I mean, I'm sorry, the next 12 stitches. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and this is 11 and 12. Okay, so now we're going to move on to round 20. In round 20, we're going to single crochet in the next two stitches. So one and two. And now we're going to do a single crochet decrease. And now we're going to do one single crochet in the next 11 stitches. So one, two, three, and then this is four, and this is five, and six, this is seven, this is eight, nine, 
10, uh -oh. that's 10, and then 11. And now we're going to put two, two single crochets in the next two stitches. So one and two in the first stitch, and then one and two single crochets in the next stitch. And then we're going to do one single crochet in the next seven stitches. One, two, uh oh, okay, two, three, four, uh oh, this is four, five, and this is six and seven. There we go. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to round 21. Round 21, we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches. So one, two, and three. And then we're going to do, uh oh, we're going to do a one single crochet decrease. Okay, and now we're going to do one single crochet in the next 12 stitches. So one, two, three, and this is four, five, Six and this is seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And now we're going to put two single crochets in the next two stitches. So one and two single crochets in the next stitch and then two single crochets in the stitch after that. And now we're going to single crochet in the next eight stitches. One, two, three, and this is four, five, Six, seven, and eight. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to round 22. Round 22, we're going to single crochet in the next two stitches. And then we're going to do a single crochet decrease. And now we're going to single crochet in the next 13 stitches. So one, two, three. This is four. Uh oh, here is five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. And now we're going to put two single crochet into the next two stitches. So one and two, and then, uh oh. Okay, that's two. Now two single crochet in the next stitch. One and two. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to single crochet in the next nine stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, this is eight, and nine. Okay. And now we're going to move on to round 23. Round 23, we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches. So one, two, and three. And we're going to do a single crochet decrease. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and single crochet in the next 14 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and here is six and seven, eight, uh oh, okay, oh, got that. Okay, that's eight, nine, nine, ten, here is eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. And now we're going to put two single crochets into the next two stitches. So one, and two, and then the next stitch, one and two. And now we're going to single crochet in the next ten stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. okay. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to round 24. Round 24, we're going to do one single crochet in the next six stitches. So that's two, three, four, five and six and then we're going to put two single crochets in the next stitch one and two and now we're just going to go ahead and repeat that all the way to the end so now that we're all done with round 24 we're going to move on to round 25 round 25 we're going to single crochet in the next seven stitches one two three, four, five, six, and seven. And now we're going to put two single crochets in the next stitch. And now you're just going to go ahead and repeat that all the way to the end. done with round 25 we're going to move on to round 26 round 26 we're going to single crochet in the next eight stitches so one two three four this is five six seven and eight and now we're going to put two single crochets in the next stitch. And now you're just going to go ahead and you're going to repeat that to the end. And now that we are done with the round 26, we're going to move on to round 27 through 36, which is simply one single crochet all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish this up off camera and when I get back I'll show you what we're going to do next. Okay, so now that I have finished round 27 to 36, 
we're going to move on to round 37. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to stuff, which I have already done here. I've stuffed my head. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the eyes in. And the eyes are going to go somewhere like here and here. So maybe like right, uh -oh, right here. If I can get them in there. And there we go. And then the other one goes somewhere like here. So there we go. Okay. And now I'm just going to push out the back of the eye to put the back on so they don't fall out. There we go. And same thing for the other side. There we go. And there we have our eyes onto our elephant. Ta-da! Now we're going to move on to round 37. And round 37, we're going to go ahead and we're going to single crochet in the next eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a single crochet decrease. And then we're just going to go ahead and repeat that all the way to the end. And now that we have finished round 37, we're going to move on to round 38. Round 38, we're going to do one single crochet in the next seven stitches. So that's two, three, four, five, and this is six, and seven. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do one single crochet decrease. And now we're going to go ahead and repeat that all the way to the end. Okay, and now that we're done with round 38, we're going to move on to round 39. Round 39, we're going to do one single crochet in the next six stitches. So this is two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're going to do one single crochet decrease. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to repeat that all the way to the end. And now that we are finished with round 39, we're going to move on to round 40. Round 40, we're going to put one single crochet in the next five stitches. So that's two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to do one single crochet decrease. And then you're just going to repeat that all the way to the end. Okay, so now that we are done with round 40, we're going to move on to round 41. Round 41, we're going to put one single crochet in the next four stitches. So that's two, three, and a four. And then we're going to do one single crochet decrease. And now you're just going to repeat that all the way to the end. We are done with round 41. We're going to move on to round 42. Round 42, we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches one, two, and three. Then we're going to do a single crochet decrease. And now we're just going to repeat that to the end. Okay. And now that we're finished, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put stuffing in here. And you don't want to stuff too much, but just enough.
Now we're going to come and we're going to cut a bit of a long tail, but not too long. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to secure that, make that nice and tight. And then I'm going to come back with my yarn needle here. We're going to thread our yarn needle. And now we're going to close up this hole here. And close up this hole. Looks like we could use a little bit more stuffing. But there we go. Close up the hole. We're just going to go in and out of our stitches here. Just like this. And now that you have it all the way around, you're just going to simply pull. Just like that. And now all we do is secure it by making a nice lovely knot. Okay, and now our elephant head is all done. We're going to grab our hook and we are going to use our white again. And we're going to start making our arms. Now we're going to make two of these arms. So make my slip stitch and we're going to chain two. So one and two. And we're going to put four single crochets into this chain. So one, two, three, and four. And so I'm going to go ahead and use a stitch marker because I do not want to get lost in my stitches. So now we're going to put two single crochet into each stitch. One, two, three, and four. Uh-oh. Just one and two and then uh -uh, three and four And this is five and six okay and then last one seven and this is eight Okay, uh, that's eight, so now we're going to move on to round three. And then round three, we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch, and then two single crochet in the stitch after that, and we're going to repeat it to the end. So, one, and then right here, I'm going to put in two stitches. So one and two. Then one right here. 
here. One and two. Then one. One and two. Then one. And then right here is one and two. And now I'm going to bring up my stitch marker. Okay, oh, there we go. Okay. And now we're gonna go ahead and move on to round four. Round four is one single crochet in the next two stitches, and then two single crochets in the stitch after that. Okay, so, mm -mm. there we go. And that's one and two. And then one, and then one here. And then there's two in the same stitch. So one and two. Then one and one. Then there's two. And this stitch so one and two then one and one and then one and two and pull up my stitch marker uh oh there we go. Looks like it's getting a little raggedy there. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move on to round five. Round five, we do one single crochet in the next two stitches. So one and two, and then we're gonna do a single crochet decrease. And we're gonna repeat that all the way to the end. So one, one, and then decrease. Then one, one, and decrease. And then one and one and then decrease and then pull up this uh, raggedy stitch marker okay and now we're gonna do round six, which is one single crochet in the next stitch, and then one single crochet decrease. And then we repeat to the end. So one, then decrease. And then one, then decrease. Then here's one, and then decrease. Okay.
think my stitch marker is getting a little bit raggedy. Uh, let's see. Do I have the other one in here? Yes, 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 I do. I cut them into two earlier, and I still have the other one that is not uh, raggedy yet. There we go. Keep this going to garbage. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to round seven and eight. And in round seven and eight, we're just gonna do uh, one single crochet in each stitch. round seven and eight we're gonna move on to round nine and with round nine we're going to go back to our lilac color so I'm just gonna cut that off right and then we're gonna take our hook we're gonna put it in this uh, stitch and we're gonna take this pull it tight and we're going to pull that through. Okay, now we're gonna come here and we're gonna make our slip stitch, I mean not a slip stitch, but our um, single crochet with our lilac color. Right, let me just pull that pull this and now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go we're gonna put one single crochet in the next stitch and then two single crochet in the stitch after that now you should have 12 stitches here so make sure you have 12 stitches now that we have our 12 and since i kind of don't want to deal with these anymore uh -oh. They have been secured down. Uh oh, I don't want to cut that. This is a little bit hard. Just want to clip off. There we go. Okay. Now, right before we get ready to continue, I should have told you before you actually um, put the, you did this thing together. I have. A small little stick if you don't you can also use a pencil but you need to stuff the hand there we go I could do a tiny bit more that should be enough there we go yes that is perfect okay so now for round 10 through 35, one single crochet in each stitch and you wanna make sure you have 12 stitches. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to the ears. For the ears, we're going to go ahead and we're going to chain two. 
and we are going to put eight double crochet in the second chain. Okay, and now that we are done with row one, we're going to move on to row two. We're going to chain two and we're going to put two double crochets into each stitch. And now that we've finished round two, we're going to go ahead and chain two. And now we're going to move on to round three. Round three is two double crochet in the first stitch. That's one and two. And then one double crochet in the next stitch. And then you're just going to go ahead and repeat that all the way to the end. Okay, and now that we have finished round three, we're going to move on to round four. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to chain two, one, and two. And now we're going to put two double crochets in the first stitch. So that's one and two. And then we're going to put one single crochet in the next two stitches. So, I'm sorry, one double crochet in the next two stitches. So that's one and this is two. And now we're going to do that four times. finished um, two double crochets and then one double crochet in the next two stitches four times we're going to go ahead and now we're going to put two single crochets in the next stitch and then one single crochet in the next two stitches and then we're going to go ahead and continue that same pattern but in double crochets. So two double crochets in this next stitch and then one double crochet in the next two stitches and we'll just repeat that all the way until we get to the end. there is our one elephant ear. Now you're going to have to go ahead and make one more of these ears. <laughs> 